Collaborating with my head art director Ashen Flash, I've drafted a LEGO minifigure series based on Mario video games. This is a 100% custom fan creation not made by LEGO or Nintendo, and the choices are what I think LEGO would realistically do in a series like this. If you haven't seen our Smash Bros series, this would realistically come after that one, so we wanted to keep the character designs different between the two. Our first minifigure is Mario, of course. This one is a different variant from the Smash series with its lighter colors from the main series game, and Cappy, a new hat piece. Since this is straight from Odyssey, his accessory is a moon, another new piece. An update from the Smash series is that he uses the new mid-legs piece, which was revealed after we did that series. It's so useful with high accuracy. Keeping up with the Odyssey theme, we have Wedding Bowser. This one uses the same new pieces introduced in the Smash series, which yes, he'd fit in a bag since he's just a bit taller than Mario, and also has a new hat piece to throw. Unfortunately, this wouldn't be able to attach to his head, but he uses it as a weapon in Odyssey, so it makes sense for him to hold it. Oh, and his tail piece would be printed his skin color at the back, since they don't really make dual molded tails. Peach is also in her wedding outfit with a new tiara and veil that can attach to her hair, dual molded arms, and, well, the character tiara as an accessory, another new piece. The last of the Super Mario Odyssey figures is Pauline, who uses a new hair and hat combo. Her accessories is a microphone and the brochure for New Donk City, printed on a 2x3 tile. Of course, Luigi is in this series, there's actually two variants of him. The first is based on Luigi's Mansion, the clothes are lighter than the Smash series, I have to give a special thanks to cm 4 Psy. He designed a build for the Poltergust 5000 using pieces that already exist, the 2x2 slope piece is printed in particular. The second version is a Fire Luigi, with two new pieces for a Fire Flower accessory a stem and the flower that clips on. A block would also be included, which yeah, logistically the block would be opened without the mystery design on it, but LEGO wouldn't include the blander, less iconic open box design, so I think they would just use this one design of the mystery box. Also, one of the new Power Blast pieces is included in green for a fireball. Oh, and Mario also has a second variant, sort of like how there's multiple Harry variants in the Harry Potter minifigure series. The second version is Tanuki Mario with three new pieces, the mask, the super leaf, and the tail. Before you say there's way too many new molds for this series, keep in mind with a huge IP like Mario, LEGO would go all out and provide all these new pieces for accuracy. They did it with the Disney series. We have to include my boy Wario in here who also uses mid legs like Mario. There's a new hair hat combo for him and a new coin piece as well. Also included is a money bag since Wario only really cares about the cash. While Waluigi will never be in Smash, he's in this series with a new hair hat combo, the return of Woody's long legs from the LEGO Toy Story sets, and a tennis racket. Toad makes an appearance here and he reuses the mushroom cap we would introduce in the Smash Bros series and has a new piece for his accessory, a power star referencing Super Mario 64. Toadette is based directly on her appearance in Captain Toad with a new nice headpiece attachment the regular Lego pickaxe, and the new piece for her turnip, attached to the stem piece which was introduced in the Lego Harry Potter series. Rosalina is in here, and to differentiate her from the normal appearance in our Smash Ultimate series, she is based directly on her Mario Kart outfit, and because of this, her accessory is a blue shell, which is also made out of three pieces. The spiky shell is exclusive to the figure, and two existing Lego wings are attached to it. I'll explain this shell system with a later figure. Daisy is based on her Mario Golf appearance using the existing LEGO skirt piece, but a new golf club mold with a white stud, and a new hair piece that has a tiara up top. Our Smash series has a regular Yoshi in it, so this one is literally just a red recolor. Come on, you know LEGO would cheap out and do this. Let's do some of those enemies, like Bowser Jr. Based on his Super Mario Sunshine appearance, he has a new neck attachment of his shell and bib, and a new tail, and a new head mold. Oh, and a new shine sprite piece. Yeah, okay, maybe that is too many new molds for one figure. But his other accessory does reuse an existing piece, the Lego paintbrush with some new printing. There's a red Koopa, Paratroopa, and Goomba, the main figure being the Koopa, and the Goomba would be included with him as an accessory. Alright, so now I can explain the shell system we created for this series that was kind of used with the blue shell. The shell has two slots where you can slip the existing Lego wings into it. The bottom has an anti-stud where minifigures can hold it, and where it can be attached to a neck piece. Exactly what we included here. Nice, right? 
his head's a new mold, the Goomba is a new mold, which would fit onto studs at the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't look so Lego-like, but I don't want to go the route of just using like a minifigure head for a Goomba. Wouldn't look right. Lakitu would be in here as well, another tribute to Mario Kart. He has a new piece for his cloud, which has two studs inside to have him stand on. He uses a Koopa shell recolored, a new headpiece, and a reuse of the Series 3 Gnome's fishing pole. A 1x3 is attached to it, which has a clip on the back and three studs at the bottom to show the go lights from Mario Kart. Clever, right? <laughs> Hammer Bro is another enemy who made it in, and he uses mid legs and a new molded head, the Koopa shell with a new pattern attached to the neck piece, and a new mold for his hammer. It's hard to call Shy Guy an enemy, but he's in here, and he comes with Boo as an accessory. The body is just one piece, a bit like the new Hagrid figure, with the short legs at the bottom. Okay, maybe he's a bit too big, but the scale with LEGO minifigures aren't perfect. The arms are actually a reuse of Kirby's from our Smash Bros series, and Boo is a piece that comes attached on a clear pole, but can also be attached to a stud. Finally, we have Dry Bones, using a new headpiece, a new color for the Koopa shell attached with the existing neck piece, and a bomb bomb as an accessory. This fits on one stud at the bottom, but he has a stud up top and on the back, meaning the bag would also include the stamp piece up top and the clockwork piece you could attach to the back. So there's our Mario series. Yeah, that's a lot of new pieces, but you have to keep in mind that Nintendo is very particular about accuracy with toys based on their characters. They would require all these specific pieces. Another special thanks to cm 4 side for helping out with the packaging as well, which looks gorgeous. I don't really think any characters are missing that would have to make it into a series one, but here's an extra. Ash and Flash designed a King bob as a concept from Super Mario 64. This was because I originally wanted to make Goomba and bob be their own figures. I don't think he'd necessarily make it into the series, but it was a neat design nonetheless. His accessory was actually Ash and Flash's original bob design. You can check out Ash and Flash's other work on his YouTube and Instagram, both linked in the description below. Anyways, my $5 up Patreon supporters can vote for upcoming CMF drafts as they did for this one. The next vote includes a Pokemon, Zelda, and more series. Click that Patreon logo on the right if you're interested in becoming a Patreon supporter. Either way, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.